There's this party at Nisha's house. Her parents are out and a no Jai's gonna be there. He's so hot. He's only just moved to the area, so he's new at school. All the year 11 girls think he's well fit. Freya says she climbed on Lacey Kemp's shoulders to see in through those little high up windows into the boys' changing rooms at school. She reckons she saw Jai getting changed for football with his shirt off and everything. Oh my God, Danny, she says to me. He's so fit, you wanna see his pecs? Apparently, he was about to take his shorts off when Pervy Potter, the caretaker, saw her looking in through the window. <sighs> she nearly broke her back, clambering down off Lacey's shoulders. Freya's here tonight at the party. Babes, she says to me, if you don't make a move on Jai, I will. She's only trying to urge me on. She knows I'm not as confident around boys as she is. She's had more boyfriends than after school detentions and that's saying something. And she's only 15, same age as me. She's not shy though. She lost her virginity in the toilets at McDonald's to some older guy she'd only met once before when she was 13. It was worth it for the Big Mac and fries he bought me afterwards, she says. When I arrive at the party, Freya's texting someone in Nisha's hallway. The music's loud. Nisha's older brother is some kind of DJ and he's got his deck set up. It feels like the whole of year 11 is crammed inside the house. Where's Nate? I shout over the music. Nate's Freya's boyfriend. Grounded, she says. Still, he doesn't need to be here for us to have some fun. She smiles, hands me her phone. Message from Nate. TDTM, it says. I'm confused. What? She laughs. Oh my God, Danny, you're so naive. TDTM, talk dirty to me. I blush. She thinks I'm so frigid. What are you gonna reply? I say. Dunno, but I'll keep him waiting. Build the suspense. Then, if he's been a good boy, I'll go to the loos. Snapchat him a picture of my tits. She's so shameless. <laughs> It's later in the evening. I've had a few drinks and a few people have drifted off. The music's more chilled now. I'm dancing with Freya and Lacey when I catch sight of Jai. He's on the other side of the room chatting with some mates. He's looking over, Freya shouts in my ear. She's probably just winding me up. Shit, I think she's right. He's looking right at me. So I smile. And he smiles back. He's coming over, Freya says. Shit. Hi, Danny, he says. You want a drink? And that's that. We chat. And he's cool, obviously. And I'm dead nervous, obviously. And then he turns to me and says, do you want to go somewhere a bit more private? And he takes me by the hand and leads me upstairs. We have to climb over Jamie Briggs, who's practically eating some poor year 10 girl's face off. And then we find an empty bedroom. We sit on the bed and we chat. <laughs> He's actually pretty shy, really. He keeps looking at his shoes. He tells me about how hard it was for him moving from London, from his old mates into a new school. And he tells me about his mum and her new boyfriend. He's a proper dick, he says. And then he turns to me, like all awkward, but cute too. And he says, Danny, can I kiss you? And that's it. That's all that happens. Not that Freya believes me. She rings me the next day. Are you telling me you were in that bedroom with him for nearly two hours and all you did was kiss? She says, I tell her it was amazing. Oh my God, Danny. You're going to be a virgin forever. So, me and Jai have been going out for three weeks now. I can't believe it. I'm getting some well jealous looks at school. Have you shagged him yet? Freya says. He won't wait around forever. Maybe she's right. But he hasn't said anything like that. It's all cool. Then, one night, I'm in my room and we're messaging each other. Jai's message. Hey babes, what are you doing? I've just been in the shower and I'm lying on my bed in just my dressing gown. So I take a picture 
I'm all covered up and send it to him. Seconds later, my phone beeps. OMG, fit. You're making me so horny for you. Shit. He's never said anything like that before. I think about what Freya said. It has been three weeks after all. I want to show him how much I like him. So, I undo the cord of my dressing gown. It falls to the floor. And I'm naked. My heart's thumping in my chest. I don't know whether I'm excited or scared, or both. <laughs> I think about that well sexy pose that what's her name from Towie does, you know, whenever she's on the net, and I try to replicate it. It takes a few attempts, but finally, I'm happy with the shots. My finger hovers over the send button, and then it's gone. Two days later, I'm walking to school. I've got my headphones in and I'm listening to music. There's Josh Cowley and his loser mates. They're shouting something at me and laughing, but I can't hear what they're saying over the music. He's such a wanker. I give him the finger and walk past. There's a group of year nine girls looking at me as I open my locker. Something's not right. Everyone seems to be looking at me. Even Mr Bowley, the geography teacher, looks embarrassed as he walks past. I take my headphones out. Declan Morris is stood in front of me with his phone out and he's laughing. Looking good, dirty Danny, he says. I tell him to get out of my face and try and walk past, but he's stood in front of me. Slut, some year seven says as they walk past. You've had so many hits, Declan tells me. I don't know what he's talking about. Then... Phoebe Shaw appears next to him. Are you going to upload some more shots, she says. Like, seriously, are you some kind of glamour model now? I ask her what she's talking about. We've been checking out those shots, Declan says. Everyone has. What shots, I say. Then Phoebe turns to Declan. Oh my God, she doesn't even know about them. By the time I find Jai, tears are streaming down my face. He's outside chaining his bike up. Hey babe, what's up? He says. You bastard, I scream at him. Those photos, who did he send them to? He looks uncomfortable. Danny, he says, I, I didn't mean to. Who did he send them to? I repeat. No one. Well, just Matt. There's a group of year 11s now watching us. They're laughing. Some of them have their phones out filming us. They were meant for you, nobody else, I say to him. Now they've been put on my site. A hundred fucking hits, Jai. It's nearly midnight. I can't sleep. The words are running round my head. Slut. Slag. Dirty bitch. I bet Jai's not getting any of this. I listen again to his last phone message. Please pick up, he says. I didn't want to send the photos to Matt. He said they would just be for him. I wanted to impress the new lads at my school, earn some respect. I've texted Jai to tell him not to come round here. My dad says he'll break his legs if he sees him. That's the other thing. My dad knows. God knows how, but he does. Tomorrow he says he's taking me to police station. Apparently it's a criminal offence. I screamed and I pleaded with him to just let it go. But he's adamant. What about when you're applying at colleges or trying to get a job, he says. One quick search and this'll come up. They won't want to employ someone with that kind of history. My phone rings. Jai. It's his 88th attempt this evening. I pick up. 
Danny, he says, someone has put those photos on a site, I say quietly. And now they're online out there for anyone to see. I think he's crying. But I didn't upload them, he says. It's not my fault. You have no idea, I say. And then I hang up. As I'm turning my phone off, another text message flashes up on the screen from some unknown number. What a skank, it says. <laughs>